Hi, we've already looked at uh, the class tools inside of Campus Cruiser for your particular classes. Today we're going to look at the course tools and this gives a little bit more flexibility um, to the teachers of the classes in order to create assignments and assessments. Uh, the class tools is more of the communication devices. This would be more of the grading procedures and things that are available that you have made available there for the students. So let's look at some of these uh, course tools and we go to one of our classes and in this case we're on our left hand side again and like I said we've already looked at the class tools these are your course design tools some of these do overlap you can see that in the class tools we do have announcements and we looked at that and in course design tools the first one is announcements as well so both of those things are there um, and again you have the features of when they're available and when they'll expire and what they are the status of um, a lot of students do like to use uh, blogs and read specific things and you can see that uh, you can enable your RSS feed for uh, students to have and that way when you put up a new announcement students are um, notified in the same way that they would be notified of a text message on their phone that there is something new for them to see on this announcements page so if you enable those the students on their RSS feeds of other blogs that they read and things like that are able to access that information uh, pretty seamlessly. Uh, so those are your announcements. We have our assessment editor, and that would be for um, any tests that you would like to look at, and you can uh, view a little bit more into assessments in uh, one of our other videos. It tells you about the different assessments that can be made and how those can be uh, constructed. As well, we have assignment editor, and of course that would be things other than tests you can see that here we have uh, just participations and uh, turning in PowerPoints and different papers. Um, some of those assessments and assignments would overlap, but um, the assignments in uh, Campus Cruiser are um, much more generic as opposed to the assessments. That's more of uh, your short answer responses, your multiple choice, things like that where you can time students. Uh, the assignments you can have a variety of different things, anywhere from participation uh, to submissions of a paper and things like that. Uh, also, we have a course designer, and this is where you would go down and see uh, those modules that we have been seeing throughout. This would be, you know, the outline of what's going to be occurring, occurring in the course. And in this case, they are set up uh, in, in modules with their Roman numerals. Uh, a great feature about this is you can import um, a lot of the things that were done already, I know that some of the courses are overlapped and you teach the same course year after year or maybe someone else taught it and you want to start from what they did. If you do your course import manager and they have all of that content online, you are easily able to uh, go down and find the same course or other classes that you have taught. You might want to bring it, something in from another class. Instead of recreating everything, all of that stuff can be imported, and we'll dabble into that a little bit more. Uh, the syllabus overlaps from the class tools as well. This would be a place where you can actually put the syllabus and the information as well as the grading scale, or you can obviously upload the paper copy and PDF or whatever the format that may be. You can change the Turnitin settings, and here uh, we suggest that you do use the campus default settings but you can um, allow students to see that originality report. I would stick with what the campus is already doing. And uh, last but not least, you can uh, upload or use a template that was already created. Uh, the template would go along with uh, that front page, the way things are laid out, um, how the syllabus looks and where things are. Um, so those templates can be very useful for, again, if you're doing the same course or if you have things that you really like and you would just like to incorporate into all your courses, those templates can be brought over uh, very seamlessly through this program as well. If you have any other questions on uh, these concepts, I would be happy to look at them further with you. Again, this is a look at the course design tools inside of Campus Cruiser.